Well, nearly 24 hours after polls closed in New Jersey, and we still do not know who will be elected governor. The most up-to-date numbers show incumbent Phil Murphy in a virtual tie with his Republican challenger, Jack Cittarelli. News Nation correspondent Tom Negevin is live. And Tom, you've been keeping a close eye on as these final votes are tallied. This has been really a lot closer than expected. And we have been watching closely, Nicole. Yes, a lot closer, certainly, than the uh, pollsters thought this race would be. Uh, while trending blue, a lot like Virginia in the national and local races, New Jersey has a fair, fairly reliable history of, of voting against the party that holds the White House in these statewide contests. And, and incumbent Democratic Governor Phil Murphy knows that all too well. Hit the road uh, very hard in the closing days of this campaign. He and his team, even though some of the latest polls showed him with a near double digit lead over his challenger, Republican Jack Cittarelli, a former state lawmaker. Uh, Murphy's camp still hopeful if he prevails, which he hopes to do, he'll um, be making history here in the Garden State. No Democratic governor has won re election year in 44 years since 1977. This is what I love about this state if you study, study its history. Every single time it's gone too far off track, the people of this state have pushed, pulled, and prodded it right back to where it needs to be. Greetings from Asbury Park. Hey, thank you all so much for sticking around. <clears throat> well, we're going to have to wait a little while longer than we had hoped. We're going to wait for every vote to be counted, and that's how our democracy works. Greetings, uh, greetings from Asbury Park. Music lovers will note uh, the Bruce Springsteen reference there. Phil Murphy, very fond of those. He seemed upbeat last night, although Democrats nationally, obviously, Nicole, watching this uh, with a lot of trepidation, a race considered a barometer of how much their political fortunes have changed uh, in the time since uh, President Joe Biden took office. We are at the Essex County Board of Elections here in Newark, New Jersey. Phil Murphy doing very well in this county. And we do have some new numbers just from about the last 30 minutes that show a narrow lead apparently widening with about 89, 90 percent of the votes counted. Uh, Phil Murphy in the lead by our tally by over 16,000 votes right now, Nicole, but still no real uh, clarity on when we're going to know how this ends with absolute certainty. All right, Tom, thank you for that. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.